Hey guys, this is VB Theory again. You're welcome to the fourth C Sharp tutorial. So today's tutorial number two in my graphics tutorial series, and we'll be covering advanced brushes on this one. So I would like first to apologize for some background noise because some neighbors are doing some repairs. So please don't mind that. But anyway, so in last tutorial we talked about brushes, but we only talked about one type of brushes which is the solid brush and that involves a solid fill color so we're going to talk about five types of brushes and the first one is going to be solid brushes again we're going to go into more details about them so the first thing we're going to do as i said in my last tutorial if you have double buffered please enable that it's going to prevent the control from flickering when being painted and then we're going to jump into the paint event. So select your form or control or whatever and then double click the paint event. So now that we've got that in, uh, we're going to create our instance of a brush. So the first thing, as I said, is going to be the solid brush. So there are three main ways to create one. So the first one is going to be solid brush and we'll call it SB is equal to new solid brush and then you select your color so i'm going to set it for example color dot blue and now that we created our brush we can add in e dot graphics dot fill rectangle and the brush is going to be sb the rectangle is going to be e dot clip rectangle and now if we run our application as you can see it's all blue and the second way to do it is going to be to type in brush b is equal to brushes dot blue and that does the same thing as the code we wrote earlier we'll run it again and we have the same result as you can see and the third and final way to do it is going to be to use system brushes and this contains a lot of colors that are not included in the brushes class so for example you can choose um, control so you pretty much know this color it's the color of the form as you can see this light gray and if we run our application you're not going to notice anything because i'm painting it with the same color it came with now that we're done with the solid brush class, we're going to jump into the texture brush. So what that is, is just painting the whole form with an image. So to do that, actually, you go texture brush, we'll call it B, is equal to new texture brush. And in here, you can use a bitmap, so it can be, say, uh, resources dot the name of that or you can already have your image so you can easily use that or the third way that I'm gonna use is gonna be to import something from the file system so type in new bitmap and the path is gonna be C winfaves also don't forget to add in the at sign at the beginning to make a verbatim string winfaves.png and the second argument is going to be wrap mode so what that is is how the brush is going to use that file you you chose so for example we have clamp tile tile flip x x y or y so for example clamp is going to use the file stretched the tile is going to put one against the other so if your file is say uh, 20 pixels wide it's going to put one next to the other next to the other next to the other you may recognize them from for example wallpapers and the third fourth and fifth ones are just how it's going to be flipped from one to the other say um, the first one is going to be normal the second one is going to be flipped 
by the x-axis if we use the third one and you can guess what the other ones are like so we'll go with tile and then we can use e.graphics.fill rectangle and we use the brush and then the rectangle which is in our case e.clip rectangle now if we run our application we have these WinFaves icons tiled all over the app. If I maximize the app, you have tiled images. So that does it for the texture brush. So the fourth thing we're going to talk about is going to be the hatch brush, which is basically using one of the predefined um, textures to fill your form. So in order to create one, you just type in hatch brush b is equal to new hatch brush and then you get to choose the hatch style which is the type of texture you need so let's say hatch style dot cross and then you can choose the four color which in my case is going to be color dot black and the back color which is color dot white now if we run our application it's going to show us this lovely cross texture there are hundreds of textures maybe so you can try them out and see which one fits you the best so the fourth brush we're going to talk about is going to be the linear gradient brush so what that is is just choosing a starting point an ending point and the color of each one of them and then c sharp is going to gradiently fade from one color to the other starting from the point you chose to the other one so in order to create one you just type in linear gradient brush and we'll call it b is equal to new linear gradient brush and then you choose the first point, which will be, for example, 0, 0. The second point, which will be, let's say, width, height, which is going to be the exact corner of the application. And then we get to choose the color of the first point. I'll go with color.red. And the color of the ending point, which will be for me color.blue. If we run our application, as you can see, there's red on this corner and there's blue on the other one. And there's a smooth fading in the color between both of those points. So now that we're done with that, we're down to our final brush, which is going to be the path gradient brush. So what that is, it's an advanced gradient brush so it, instead of using only two points you use a couple points or a graphics path which the gradient will follow so let's say for example you choose five points just random points c sharp will choose how the color will fade in between all of those points so it's going to follow that path so in order to create one you just type in path gradient brush call it b is equal to new path gradient brush and then you create an array of points so type in for example new point zero zero the second point is gonna be um, 150 20 choose a third point new point um, 50 130 just type in random points and the final one let's choose it as lower right hand corner so now that we created our brush we can do a, a couple changes so you can type in b dot center color so the color which will be in the exact center of the path I'll go with color dot blue. We can choose B dot surround colors. 
So you can choose a couple of colors which will surround the blue color in the center. So create a new color array. I'll go color dot red um, color dot white color dot black and the last thing we can do is the choosing the center point so that is going to be the point where colors are going to be exactly blue as we chose earlier so I'll go with new point 150 20. So now let's run our application and as you can see it's just random colors because all I did is choose um, random points and random colors so you can pretty much take some time and choose your gradient wisely. So that is it for this tutorial. The code is as always in the description below and leave all your suggestions and questions in the comment box below and I'll see you in the next one.